was a gun. I'm not voting. If we want to build our nation. The problem with the Somalians. Just want to experience something else than a black man. Move on, move on. I like a horse with blinkers. Honestly, say, I was about to have sex and then I pulled Crap, but it's nice. <laughs>
create that boundary of like, this is actually bad. I can see with certain things already that it does. So she's slowly picking up what consequence is, obviously. But they say that kids that like, that, that gets those, those type of punishments that gets beaten up and stuff like that by the parent, not beaten up, but like, it's also like a form of disciplining your child. Mm. But they say kids that, um, that gets that type of punishment, they're more likely to become aggressive in the future or, I mean, some of them become bullies at school as well. So that's, that's a whole, that's a whole other thing. To be honest with you, I feel that children that turn out to be bullies and stuff like that, that actually doesn't come from spanking your kids. That actually comes from abuse. Mm. And there is a very big difference between spanking your child to discipline them and being abused. Mm. I've seen abuse. Mm. I've seen a lot of abuse. And spanking your child is not abuse because I spank my kids because I need to teach them because I love them. Mm. But abuse no, is a totally different thing. I was also told that like my mom will tell me when she eats me, she will tell me she's doing it out of love because she loves me. <laughs> but it is. I understand <laughs> that. I don't know. I feel like maybe it's just like a colored parent thing. Now that now I understand <laughs> now that I'm growing. But oh, I could never God. understand, I'm like, why do you, how can you tell me you love me if you're hurting me? Because you're literally hurting me. I'm crying. And if I cry, it's also a problem. If I don't cry, it's a problem. So what should I do? You know, that's <laughs> like, I don't know. But it put really you back mind. in line, didn't it? It did. I can't lie. It's exactly. Like, I'm laughing because I literally had that conversation with my daughter last night because I had to spank her for something. And she was <laughs> crying. And after this, I picked her up and I was like, you know, obviously I'm not trying to explain to her, mommy loves you. That's why I'm doing it because I love you. And I have to, I try and also add like, not just a spank, like maybe just some communication explaining why this is happening. So <laughs> that eventually she will understand like, okay, I know I mustn't do that because mommy explained to me, this is what's going to happen. So I literally had the conversation and I was internally laughing because this is also what I was also told of like, I'm doing this because I love you. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that actually leads me to another question. Um, are there ways to discipline um, your child, like but just speaking to them without spanking them? Do you think, do you think that works though? Like just shouting at them or whatever? Uh, verbally not because you know, these children, they just like, um, for some reason, it's um, they tend to ignore you, or it's just like they deaf all of a sudden for that period when you speak to them. <laughs> or, um, but there's just something happening to them if you have to shout. So you're gonna just raise your voice for absolutely nothing because Yo, of late. Mm. <laughs> you know, Alicia, I think yeah. it's also like if you know your child, like then maybe you could get it right. But I don't think it's going to have the same effect as spanking. I think spanking is still really going to get the message out there. But I feel like if I was a child or I have a child that's maybe into a certain activity or toy or something like that, then I'm like, you can't play with this until you learn to behave and whatever. Maybe it will work if your child is really like into that specific thing. But yeah. I think the spanking is the only thing that's going to get the message Across. yeah for me I, I prefer the spanking as well because it's like you're gonna eat me now and then it's done it's over with you know what i'm saying <laughs> but i also i also feel like shouting is not really it doesn't really work like you're not gonna listen all the way something that 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 that, that always uh, uh comes up with a tongue lash because at the end of the day shouting is a tongue lash mm -hmm. the thing is mm -hmm. a tongue lash can hurt you more then a spanking can, like you're saying. Yeah. Rather give me, rather spank me than shouting me. Because yeah. we as parents, especially as mothers, we will say something in the heat of the moment, not realizing that we're actually hurting our child more mm. than having mm. to give them just a spank. And then yeah. afterwards, you actually regret what you said. But yeah. it's out there, you cannot take it back. No matter how much you say, I'm sorry, I apologize, it's there. So yeah. I rather spank them than breaking them down emotionally. A memory came to me is like when I was still, when I was growing up, um, I was very rebellious, eh? And uh, <laughs> I had very strict parents. But uh, for some reason, I was never spanked. My mother and them never uh, resort to that. But um, there was this one time when I rebelled so badly and I jumped to the 
bathroom window and they grabbed me from the back to pull me back <laughs> in, hey? But through the night I said, and I said to myself, um, I'm gonna do this. I wanna do this and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna run away from home. <laughs> and the next morning, <laughs> I just as well did. We had a sliding door, everybody was sleeping and I just um, opened the sliding door very softly and I went out of it. And you know what, when I came back after a while, my mother said something to me and that sat with me. That sat with me for a long time, but I must say, um, having been a single mother most of my life, hey, raising my children, just me alone, um, that actually made me to become, um, you know, sometimes when, when somebody said, like you said, it, it can destroy a person, mm -hmm. words, it, it sticks, eh? And um, it makes you doubt yourself and like, really? Am I really what she said I am? Mm -hmm. And but that, it, 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 it actually took me to, to um, it encouraged me actually to go far beyond, you know, those words that she, that, that she named me or that she called me. Because if I look at my boys today, um, the one went to varsity with me, I actually also being called that name, you know, um, and I think my parents and my, my family must be so proud of me without saying it. Because even after all these years I've worked, I decided not to work anymore. And I went to pursue a career. I went and studied for four years. My second born, we were in, in, in varsity together. And the eldest one, they all have got pretty well, uh, good jobs now. And it's just the little one, um, unfortunately, is not with me. But, you know, when it comes to me, I also make sure it gets from what, how I raise those, the other two. Mm. So, yeah, um, I, would have let, let, I would have liked my mother to spank me more or my parents, you know, being so strict, but even those words, that name that you called me, I held on to it, but not for the, to better myself. I mean, because I could have, if I was somebody, it turned out bad because of what she uh, called me, mm. but that made me to go forward and to raise my children better, but I spanked them. Mm. I made sure I spanked them when they were growing up. I was also very rebellious growing up and, um, I felt that even though at the time, I mean, I was, I was the, the kid that told my mom, mommy, this is child abuse. You can't eat me. You can't throw me with the, with the slipper. <laughs> so, um, but I mean, now looking back at that, I do feel like it did shape me to understand what the consequences are of my actions and how to behave, especially now being a mom myself. Now um, I'm grateful that I went through that and that they resorted to that to discipline me and teach me about discipline because you need that in um, everyday life, in the working world even as well, how you interact with people. So it's it's important. I definitely think it did shape me. My dream is to actually um, pass so that I can become what I always wanted to be because I'm busy studying now. So my dream will be to be very lucky in my studies and become the lawyer that I really want to be. My dream is to be happy. My dream is to be forever young. Not young in, in age, you know, but in spirit mm -hmm. because um, there's still so much I want to do. My dream is to have a healthy, successful life with my family and loved ones. Yeah, see, you should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create this straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong You should ever sit and talk with people Or else take a walk and create this straight talk Talk what is nice, it will make you feel stronger Listen what is right and say what is wrong